Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 22nd through the 28th. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Sagittarius for the week ahead? What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, hostilities. Yay. So there's some sort of hostilities this week that you are dealing with. You could be dealing with some conflict. There could be somebody that is fighting with you. Um, I see anxiety on the bottom of the deck. So you could be really worried about things. You may be wanting to protect yourself. You may feel the need to protect yourself. You're definitely up against somebody and or you feel like you are and you're probably going to be in protection mode, you know. Or you're dealing with people that are want to fight with you, you know, and you you feel that's what it is. It feels like you feel the need to protect yourself or the people around you or something like that. Or there is somebody that is very hostile towards you or both. I do feel like you have an enemy here and you are in a place of fear because of that anxiety card. So you're probably fearing, you know, what is this person going to do? And you may be ready to protect, you know, you may be in that mode where you're like, you know, uh, I have to protect myself during this time. Yeah, you're probably in protection mode, you know. Um, there could be there could be a, an event where you do have to protect yourself, okay? So... What's going on? What is going on? Oh, we got two. We're going to take those. Bear. Danger. Especially in money matters. Now, this doesn't have to be just money matters. It says especially in money matters. But this is, obviously, when you come up against a bear you're in danger so there's you're probably in a situation where you know you're probably in defense mode by the looks of things or you're going to need to protect yourself elephant a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end so whatever is happening is bringing you some sort of life experience and it is going to make you wiser in the end, okay? This is bringing you wisdom. It may not be a very fun situation to be in, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So you're definitely, I feel like you're in a situation where there is some sort of danger this week or you're feeling like you're in danger. That could just be feeling with the anxiety card. Could it just be a fear? It could be. Um, what, do, what, what do we got for Sagittarius this week? What do we have for Sagittarius? Moon reversed. So this is truths being revealed. So there is something being revealed this week that is going to, probably could make you angry, could make another person angry. Um, it could be dealing with the Pisces, could be dealing with the Cancer, doesn't have to, it could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. This card looks to me like the Page of Swords or the Knight of Swords. So this is somebody that is very assertive, very brash, brash, very factual, um, that is on a mission. So maybe that's you needing to protect yourself from some sort of lies, some sort of secrets. I don't know. Some There could be some addictions here that are clouding somebody's thoughts. This is definitely a reality check. Somebody's getting a reality check of some sort and truth is going to come out or truth has come out that puts you on guard. Okay. So there's some sort of, some sort of, uh, something has been hidden, but it's not hidden anymore. And it's causing some sort of animosity this week. Um, there's been some lies or something like that, but I feel like it's all on the, it's all on the table now. Um, Oh, page of pentacles. A page of pentacles is going down a new path. It's not going to be easy. You know, you may be starting something. You may be you may have a new prospect, a new opportunity, something that could grow into something very abundant that has been given to you. But I feel like and it's been unclear whether you want to invest in it or not. Um I you definitely have an opportunity right now 
to broaden your horizons and go down another direction, but you have to open your eyes. You may have to come out of illusion. You may have to do what's right for you, even if other people don't agree with it. I do feel like you have a, a, a golden opportunity right now that has already been given to you. It's already, it's already been presented to you, but there's been some sort of disillusionment. There has been disillusionment. And you've been in a situation that may have caused you not to see something, maybe not see the value in whatever it is that you have been presented. Um, oh my God, there's definitely going to be a fight or an argument or a power struggle with somebody. I think you are going to be dealing with a power struggle this week. We got somebody here that is playing with you. This person is highly competitive. Uh, they like to, uh, they thrive on conflict and I feel like they, they, they know that you are on the defensive, so they're going to involve you in their game. Okay. This is, a, this is a player. You, somebody is playing with you. They are playing with you and I feel like you're going to be in a tense situation this week. Um, you know, there could definitely be a fight that you didn't see coming. Could this, the, the, you know, it could have something to do with addictions. You know, there could be some sort of addictions here. Um, things are going to become clear very, very, very fast. Okay. So if there's been a lack of clarity or there's been some, some confusion, things are going to be coming clear very fast that you are involved in some sort of game. This is like a freaking game. You, you've been playing that you're dealing with a player. You are dealing with a player that is... Uh, highly combative, combative. Uh, something's not going to work out. We have somebody here that doesn't work hard enough. They don't try hard enough. They don't put enough effort. Effort. Um, and it feels like they just, they just, they're just in it for the competition. You know, they like to compete. You're dealing with somebody that is lazy, that likes to compete. They want to compete with you. Now, this is lies being exposed, seeing the truth again. So there is some sort of truth that is coming out this week, okay? This is somebody that has no uh, skills or something like that. They just don't put in effort. They like to fight. Um, they're in denial of a situation. Uh, they don't want to be held accountable for their actions. They may hide their themselves in addictions, their true selves in addictions. You're going to be fighting with somebody this week. This person, I don't know if it, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a Pisces, Cancer. It could also be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There, I do believe that there is going to be a power struggle between you and another person. Uh, this person is um, really, really torn right now. They are not... Um, They're not making a wise choice, put it that way. They've been avoiding the truth. They've been avoiding, you know, opening up. They've been avoiding doing the right thing because they're lazy. This person is lazy. And they just want to fight. You're dealing with somebody who just wants to fight. I feel like, I feel like you're going to be with somebody that may... Uh, want to do something with you but they have they, they they get angry you know they get angry really really fast and they want to fight they pick a fight somebody i feel like somebody's gonna pick a fight with you i do there's been some sort of avoidance here somebody has been avoiding the truth or they've been avoiding reality and they're they're about to get a reality check you could be giving somebody a rat reality check this week they may think that they're giving you a reality check. That's what they think. Mm -hmm. There's a higher power involved here. There is a higher power involved. I feel like there's some sort of protection. I feel like I feel like uh, you need to have faith and trust in your gut. You need to listen to your gut. I feel like there's somebody that maybe this is a lesson that needs to be learned. Um, may have something to do with the government or an institution or something like that. So somebody may end up um, 
going down a new path and it's divinely guided. This is a direct connection to God. It's a guidance counselor or a teacher or somebody that is in a position of authority that is guiding somebody down a new path. So you are being guided down a new path and there is some sort of protection here. You're dealing with somebody that is playing games with you. They are competing with you. They are trying to block you in some way. This person is delusional. They are delusional, but there's a higher power involved. There's a higher power involved, which is interesting. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, mm. Truth, oh my God. There is some sort of truth coming out this week that is going to guide you down a new path. Lies are being exposed this week about an individual that is very combative and delusional, okay? So you, you're dealing with somebody that is in a dark place and they are about to get a, re somebody's about to get a reality check. They've been hiding something. They've been hiding something, who they truly are, and the truth is going to come out. You, you know, I, something's not going to work out. This person that is putting you in a position, this person is putting you in a position to fight. They want to fight. You know, they want to, they want you to compete. You know, and I feel like, you know, you may, you may put your guard up and say, no, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm going to go down another path. I'm going to walk away. You know, maybe that's the case. But with that moon card reversed, this is that's clarity that is cut. Truth is, this is all about truth. This is lies coming out. This is the sword of truth. That is the sword of truth. This is truth coming out. So something has been hidden. Somebody's true person, you know, who they truly are has been hidden. It's not going to be hidden anymore. Lies are being exposed. Um, can't avoid the, can't avoid the truth. The truth is coming out. This is the sword of truth. Okay, I do believe somebody is going to be taking a new approach. Could be a higher power that is uh, bringing out the truth. There is definitely some truth that is coming out. Um, this truth is going to uh, allow you to go down a new path with that page of pentacles. I think the opportunity has already been presented to you, but you may have been fearful of it because this is fearful and this is fearful. You may have been fearful of going down that fat path or fearful of confrontation or fearful of hostilities or whatever, but whoever it is that wants to fight with you, it's not going to work out for them. I feel like you are going to be in some sort of power. I feel like you're going to be given the power. Whatever's going to happen, I feel like you're going to be given some sort of power because that's a sort of truth and a sort of power. Um, I wonder if somebody's going to be arrested. I was going to say it before the card came out, but whenever I see this card, the Eight of Swords, whether it's reversed or upright, I think of jail. I think of prison. I think of, you know, being, being, uh, you know, handcuffed. I just do. I just do. So I'm not sure if that's what's happening, but this is, there's been lies. There's been an obstacle in the way of your success. And I feel like that obstacle is going to be removed. Something, somebody hasn't been, something hasn't been working out. And you have been needing to escape this situation. You may have tried to escape or you need to escape or you will be escaping. Um, making an escape of some sort. Um, there's definitely a situation where you have been confined or restricted or um, there could be some sort of uh, containment that is going on. Somebody may have restricted you, but the obstacle is now being removed. I do feel like there's going to be an argument or a fight, and I'm not sure if, if uh, you know, there's some, well, definitely lies are going to be exposed, and, and it feels like you're going to be heading down a path, and this path is going to lead to healing. It is going to lead to healing. But before that happens, there's going to be, I feel like there's going to be an altercation. I feel like there's going to be an altercation and it may have something to do with addictions or drugs or alcohol that causes this altercation, causes this, you know, fight. You're dealing with somebody who wants to compete with you. This person is, has been in a dark place and they're, it feels like they don't have any money and, they, and that, maybe that's why this one came up. They don't have any money. They don't have any stability. 
you know, maybe they're jealous of you and I feel like they are, they're going to pick a fight. Somebody is going to pick a fight with you, Sagittarius. Four of Swords. Now this is a time to recuperate. Somebody is going to need time to recuperate. They're going to need time to heal. They're going to need time to go within. This is the death of a, of a situation. It really is. You know, when I see the Four of Swords, I, this is to me, this is the death of a, of a of a person or idea. Okay, so this is something that is coming to an end that has been mentally exhausting. You know, there's definitely mental turmoil here. There is mental turmoil. There's uh, entrapment as well. I feel like somebody has been. Um, trying to keep somebody uncomfortable and it's because I feel like it's because their life isn't working out anyhow there's a need to go within and heal and recuperate and retreat and take a time out and take a new approach to life so you are being guided in a new direction it's 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 basically freedom it's freedom from some sort of competitor your an obstacle is being removed I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is, they may be sick, they may be ill, you know, they are not in a positive mindset. Uh, maybe they're going to jail or they're going, take being taken away or even worse. Something is going on with this, this person's sick. Maybe they're going to rehab. It could be rehab. Anyhow, uh... Something has been avoided up until now, but it can't be avoided anymore. I do believe, oh, okay, the Knight of Swords. I don't know if it's the police, because I keep wanting to say that I want to say the police. I don't know. It doesn't have to be the police. The Knight of Swords is somebody that comes rushing in, typically to save the day. So somebody may be coming rushing in. Uh, this is also somebody that is very, very sharp, that is on a mission, that is uh, taking action. They're putting their plans in action. So you could be dealing with somebody that is very, very assertive. It's interesting that I saw that up here. That is, uh, it feels like this person is angry as well. So I do feel like we have somebody here that is angry and they are entering your arena. This person is coming into your arena and it feels like they want to fight. So I, I do apologize. I do apologize for this message. I do feel like you need to protect yourself. You're going to need to protect yourself. You may need to call cops. Okay. Um, or the police. Anyhow, there is some sort of protection here because of the Hierophant. So that's a direct connection to God. Listen to your gut. If so, You could be receiving an offer from somebody and your gut is saying, No, 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 I, should, I don't want to do this. But you ignore it. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. If your gut says that you're receiving an offer from somebody, and it feels like all it, it's it's not all that it's cracked up to be. If it, if it feels like it's too good to be true, it is. It absolutely is. You may wanna. You may really wanna think about this. The Knight of Swords is, is obviously a thinker. You know, and whoever you are, whoever you are dealing with, is very. Um, calculating put it that way this person uh well this person's calculating and i feel like they are on a mission to compete with you so anyway you're going to be dealing with a competitor this week that um has been trying to restrict you or confine you or uh block you in some way because this is restrictions Confine and this is blocking, you know, they're trying to make you scared and I feel like they're, they're doing that because You know, they're in a desperate situation. Whoever you're dealing with is they may be sick Good luck 